Aristotomus of Miletus, last attested in 306 BCE. An Asiatic Greek in the service of Antigonus the One-Eyed, Aristotomus of Miletus served as Antigonus's principal general in the Peloponnese during the Third War of the Successors until he was presumably replaced by Antigonus's nephew Polymaeus. Aristotomus was sent to Athens with a thousand talents to hire troops and to aid Polyperchon in his ongoing struggle against Cassander, who had gained the upper hand in most of Greece. Antigonus had declared freedom and autonomy for the Greeks, a relatively sincere offer, and Aristotomus, with 8,000 mercenaries financed by a one-eyed monarch residing in Asia, was to be the one to deliver it. The fact that he was Greek rather than Macedonian was probably of considerable propaganda value to the Greeks who were hoping for freedom. After Ptolemy's fleet had aided Cassander considerably, Aristotomus and Polyperchon's son Alexander began trying to undo some of the damage. While they were campaigning, Alexander unexpectedly betrayed his father's cause and became Cassander's Peloponnesian general. In response, Aristotomus turned to the Aetolian League and with their help saved the city of Cyllene from Alexander while going on to free several other cities with Aetolian help in 314. Aristotomus's containment of Cassander, despite the intervention of the Ptolemaic fleet and the betrayal of Alexander, was solid work. When taken in tandem with Polymaeus's victory over Cassander's general Prepolaeus in Asia Minor and Antigonus's arrival on the scene after having finally completed his conquest of Phoenicia by taking Tyre, Aristotomus's successes in Greece and his two or so years in command helped to advance the Antigonid cause by leaps and bounds. A fine general, Aristotomus was one of the most talented Greeks to come on the Macedonian-dominated scene and make a name for himself in this time of turmoil.